Thank you, Max. If you want higher damage, um, let's see. Trio of Enders has quite a lot of health um, and a decent amount of shield. Let me. Uh, 3,250 health and 600 shield. Uh, important thing to note about shield is, uh, like, it, this is your head, obviously, for Trio of Enders. Um, if you have shield, you can't get headshot. So, generally, higher shield is, is kind of good, because you can also regenerate all that shield after around 4 or 5 seconds of taking no damage. Um, so Trio has a pretty, pretty decent, um, like, shield, uh, pool. Um... The machine gun that he has, um, very good. Uh, it, it, it can shred at, at, like, really close range. Um, deal pretty, pretty decent damage at medium range, but long range it, it can kind of, like, feel underwhelming at times. Um, shotgun close range. Generally, the shotgun, the shotgun's just really, really strong. Um, I want to go to the training ground here. Let me tell Revenge to let him know that I'm going to the training room. Wait, I could I can just message him. Let me... Going to training ground. Okay. I'm gonna hope that you're still here, by the way. Otherwise, all of this is, uh, very, very bizarre. Alright, so, um, inside the heavy armed thing is generally what your high HP pool will be. Firefox, okay, here's another thing. Firefox, despite it being very basic, um, you obviously don't really have very much verticality, you can't, like, jump upwards. Um, however, both of his core modules very, very useful, like, Firestorm, you just get more and more damage the the longer you shoot. Uh, someone else is shooting uh, the funny. But, um... Oh, the Korean guy's shooting it with me! Alright, uh... Yeah, so generally... Uh, it, it won't destroy a, me a mech that quickly. You have to figure there's two Firefoxes shooting. Because uh, he's shooting the same one as I am. But, um, yeah, it does, like, around 80, 80 damage per shot. Um, this is against, like, a pilot. Pretty good. Uh, one thing to note about... Let me, let me, let me lower the volume real quick of SMC. Um, one thing to note about, uh, Firefox is he's the only mech that, like, this is, this is his weak spot, right? And you're like... Like, obviously, it's like, uh-oh, you don't want, like, a gigantic weak spot. Um, but Firefox is the only mech, as of right now, that has reduced critical hit damage. Um, so you combine that with his defense module to, um, to, like, whenever he dashes, he, he does get shield. He does get shield, and you can either you can increase the amount of shield he gets from uh, from dashing. Um, let's see if I can. You get like around like three hundred and fifty shield, I believe. A uh, three hundred and sixty shield you get, and then combine that with then shield should get um five hundred. Yeah, you get five hundred and. And 65-ish. So every time you dash, you're just getting like 500 HP at, in best case scenario, purple defense module. Um, generally, Firefox is um, very basic, to be honest. Um, but that's what makes him kind of like easier to play. Um, say like you're in a situation where, oh hey, I need to reload. Uh, you can shoot your missiles while you're reloading. Things like that make Firefox very appealing to a lot of people who who, who like um 
like tanks, but don't like the way that some of them play, because he's he's more agile than than most of the tanks. Just figure he has a uh, three thousand two hundred uh, fifty four, although it should be three thousand two hundred, I believe. I just have some modules right now that should change that. So I'm not sh too sure. I think it's three thousand two hundred. Um, Firestorm's pretty good. Raging Missile. Let's say you, uh, you're getting an opening, you're getting right up on someone, and you have C2. There you go, you just immediately melt them. Yeah, so if you hit all your missiles with a C2, it's going to do a lot of damage. Like, a, a boatload of damage. Um... It's a good opener, or if you need to like reload, obviously you can shoot your missiles. Uh, you get shield when you dash. Very good. You can control your dash by changing your camera's direction, so... Like that. You, you, you can do whatever you want with that type of dash. Like, you can... You literally go in circles. I do it every now and then. Um, but yeah, that that's a pretty... Pretty basic breakdown. Well, I wouldn't say basic, but more of a... Like a good to know is about um, Firefox. Carmel is a little bit of a more advanced um, mech. I don't know if I have an exact module I'd recommend for for Carmel when it comes to like the core modules. But um, left click should do around 200. Um, right click does around 600. Yeah. So one thing about Carmel is. You can left click and then right click at the same exact time to activate both the abilities at the same time, like that. Uh, very good burst damage right off the bat. Um, another thing worth noting is when you reload with Caramel, like your ammo pools are independent. So if you reload and you go into like the the tank form here, so say I shoot once here and I want to reload. I press R and E to transform immediately back. Boom. If I do this sequence, I, I basically won't run out of ammo. Or I'm just reloading, e like, right before I transform. Like, right before I hit to transform. And I'll keep my ammo. So yeah, generally that, that that is a good good way of uh, knowing Kuma. Now, whenever you like, if you have um, cannon reinforcement, which is a pretty good a pretty good module, I think it's probably the best one that you want for a defense module. Oh, uh, just because you do tend to use this form quite a lot in um in like your standard like brawls and long range stuff. Like normally, people will do things like this. And then right when they have to reload, they'll just do this. And then just go back. Uh, for me, I usually just kind of like go like... Like this. And figure you're getting damage reduction then. Uh, every time you enter this form. So... Definitely worth noting. Um... Carmel's jump... I, I didn't really talk about it, but um... It, it's kind of... Kind of strange... Um, if you land on someone with it, it'll do damage. I'll just show you real quick. Like, uh... Boom. There you go. It, it, it does do damage. Um... It does help you get up to, like, some generally... Weird spots. Uh, well, I missed. But yeah. It, you can't really interrupt the jump. So, that's that's worth noting. Um, and then Hot Steel. Um, I'll go over Hot Steel real quick. Hot Steel has some really good damage close range. Um, obviously, with Hot Steel, it's just uh, projectiles go a little slow. But, um, boom, boom. Might think, oh, hey, that's not that interesting. Wait, what makes Hot Steel more of a good burst damage close range is just yes he, he has this little rage mode right uh it does increase your fire rate with hot steel and it does increase your damage 
Thank you, Apex Apex Legends, for for the for the happy birthday. I appreciate it. But um, yeah. Now, you you can um, it, it does depend. What uh, thank you for the follow, Apex uh, Legends. I appreciate it. I mean, I could say Luggins if I wanted to. But um, now, I'm not too familiar with Hot Steel to be completely honest with you. Uh, he has gone through a lot of changes since I I have like gotten most of my information about him but one thing's for sure if you shoot and you press e and then you shoot again you will you will shoot twice so depending on when you when you press e um you, you, you can shoot again so generally like say you're about to get the the ambush on someone let me let me just hit them like that Say you're about to get an ambush on someone. Yeah, so generally it, it matters on your on your um on your combos. And I'll I'll play uh I'll play Skyfall in my next match right now. I'm just going over each of the heavies for um Miss Kathy here. Now one thing that is also worth noting is um with C2, uh, your core module 2, you can, uh, you can do this, and then you press E, and you shoot again. One thing that's worth noting is that you can shoot and immediately press your right click. So combine that with shooting once, pressing E, shooting again, and then right clicking. With your C2, it absorbs all of your rage meter to uh, shoot this, this stronger missile here. It consumes all of it, so it takes you out of that rage mode. So what that allows you to do is boom, boom, and then boom. And then you can repeat the whole process all over again. So let me see if I could optimize it a little better. I, I kind of messed it up. Uh, dash can can move in any direction so long as your camera's pointing at it. You tap Q again, and it'll uh, it'll do a, a dash, or I mean, it'll do a um, a hit. So there you go. So that's a that's a standard combo that you can do. Um, get movement speed boost whenever you're in rage. Dashing, and then you press Q again. You could do a funny little little small attack there. Um, I don't really know much to say about his um. I don't know much to say about his his modules. However, I do believe I would like to say unyielding might be better, but um, but iron wall also also could be good because basically what iron wall is a 180 degree area where basically it, if you shoot hot steel at the front while he's shooting at you actively um he's taking reduced damage taking 12 12 percent reduced damage um however unyielding uh gives you like 20 percent damage reduction while you're doing this so it's really up to you on that aspect um i don't have too much to talk about with hot steel uh, Aside from that, there are some some good hot steals out there that, that can give you better tips regarding him than I can, personally. Uh, trio vendors, probably one of the uh, like higher higher damage per second uh, heavies in in the game. Like you got your Q, which activates all three of your weapons. Like you got you got your shotgun. Like boom. Boom. Uh, you got yourself your rockets, which are pretty good at long range. They have minor tracking on them. Uh, 308, and then machine gun. Like generally with trio, shooting for longer periods of time, time makes you more inaccurate. So you can try to do like bursts just to try to maintain that uh, that accuracy. I'm, I'm sorry, Apex. What if I ate all the cake? What, what would happen if I ate all the cake? Would you kill me for it? So I didn't mean to. 
it I just I can't I kind of had to you know wait then we press when you press Q it activates all three of these weapons at once but it does reduce damage uh, each of the weapons does reduce damage but uh, you can move left and right a lot quicker move forward and back a lot quicker like this Generally, you want to combine jumps, things like that, with uh, with Trio's Q. I'm sorry, Apex. I didn't mean to. Um, Northern Knight. I'm not too informed with Northern Knight. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, one of Northern Knight's main qualities is being a distraction. However, you got the shield. It regenerates. Um, anything that hits you in the front will not hit you at all. It'll only hit the shield. However, if you get shot in the back or even at the sides, then it's a problem. Um, you got your. You can shoot while you have your shield up. Uh, generally, like once you put your shield away, you'll start regenerating. Uh, you got your right click, which uh, I believe there's a module that makes it. Let's see, um, let's see, I believe, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I, I, I am pretty sure there's something that makes it so that the, uh, lower HP you or your shield are, the more damage this will do, I'm not sure, like I said, I don't really know too much about this mech to be entirely honest, um, but your job with with Northern Knight, be as be as big of a distraction as you possibly can be. Um, try to get in people's face, try to make them uncomfortable. If you're in a 1v1 and you're really close and you have your shield up, you're not getting hit. They're, they're not hitting you until your shield breaks, you're not going to take damage. Um, you got your, your Q, which can be used in any direction. So you can kind of do what Hot Steel did. Um, and then Doomlight. Doomlight's an interesting one. He, he has both high damage, but also is just like a very support oriented, very support oriented, uh, heavy. Because he has, he has turrets, which generally, one thing you'll want to do with your turrets is you'll, you don't really want to put them in the same spot. You'll kind of want to, like, if you are, like, when I say the same spot, don't put all three of them in, like, literally right here. Like, your main objective with these turrets is they will be constantly hitting a mech that's in its range. And you want them to kind of be in the middle. So they'll be getting shot in the back, right here, right here. And your main job is to force them to worry about these turrets here. Um, you got your Q, which... The shield generally not very much can hit behind it. Like Gabriel can hit whoever's behind it with his um, not with his sniper beam, but his uh, this small little left click orb that'll hit behind it. It'll do about 200 damage every time. But aside from that, most shots that hit this won't go through. I know. Hold on. Um, but yeah, generally try to make this as annoying as possible to deal with. Don't put them all in the same spot, otherwise you could just like be like pew pew. There goes all the all the turrets. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention something. Doomlight can fly. Um, let me let me let me go and Doomlight again. This flying isn't that that interesting, but it is something worth noting. Doomlight can in fact fly. Um. Really, the core modules do depend more on, like, um... Like, it, it, it kind of depends, like, what kind of playstyle you have with, uh, the core modules. Um... However, the thing that's worth noting is, uh, like, yeah, your C... your C2, I believe? No, C1. Your C1, yeah, it'll attack your people close to you, but generally you'll want more of C2. Because if you put them more in like a triangle right here, they kind of like, they link together to do greater damage, as you can see. So, 
C2 is generally what you want for Doomlight, but C1 isn't like the worst thing on Earth. Um, now last one. The newest mech, Skyfall. Very slow, suffers a lot of verticality issues. Um, rapid reload. Uh, so you got these four rockets here. Um, very good. Your, your main objective with this mech isn't to be up in people's face, it's to play a support role. Uh, you can combine this mech with, like, say, Doomlight Shield, um, and really utilize that whole stationary backline support. Get a lot of entry damage. Uh, your, your missiles will track. So if they jump, there's a pretty decent chance that they'll, uh, they'll still hit your target. Um... As you can see at the bottom, that's how many missiles I have right now. If I dash, I get like two and a half back immediately. Um, and then I can right click, and then boom. So right now if I try to right click, I'll only be able to lock on one. Now that I have two, I can lock on on two, and three. You, you get the point. Now, there are some builds that you can do. However, I would say uh, you don't really have to use C2, your, your core module 2. Uh, which immediately restores all your rockets, because the problem is... The problem is right here. Um, you you will still have this cooldown, so even if you get all four of them and then you immediately dash, while well, you're down your missiles for uh, three whole seconds anyways. Um, so, generally you'll want to use uh, C1. It also increases your lock-on time. Um, so, boom... And then I dash. Oh, hey, look! I have all my rockets back by the time. By the time I'm I'm able to shoot them again. So generally, you'll be wanting to run Skyfall. Um, it, it's very, or you'll you'll be wanting to like run uh, the fast like reloading. No, not not that. I mean, uh, Sky, yeah, Skyfall disaster is what you want. Um, fast reloading is also kind of useful for this build. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Apex, but, uh, my account isn't, isn't worth stealing. It's not worth it. Not worth going to prison for. So yeah, generally Skyfall. Um, very good backliner. Not exactly the best when it comes to, uh, like CQC. However, very large AoE. Very large. Explosions are massive. Uh, you have 48 in the clip. Boom. Very big explosion. So keep that in mind when, when looking at Skyfall. Uh, his, his ability to kill mechs, I mean, uh, pilots, it isn't the best when they're, like, kind of out in the open. Well, I mean, it, it's both good and bad. The AoE, very huge, but the damage, not that good. But the AoE kind of makes up for it. It just does depend on the scenario. Um, if it's someone above you, well, you're not going to hit them at all. Um, if a pilot's near you, or you can take care of the building that they're in, then that's then that's good. Um, but yeah. That's about all I can say. But if you want raw damage... Um, raw damage... Definitely going to be Firefox or Trio of Enders. Those are your most reliable, big damage uh, dealer, like tank mechs. The support will be Skyfall and Doomlight. Now, now Carmel. Here's the thing: Carmel is both like a really good damage dealer, but but like Carmel and Hot Steel. Carmel and Hot Steel <laughs> basically. Um, it, I'm, 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 I'm deafening on them. Anyways, uh, Carmel Hot Steel serve the same purpose. They both have really good burst damage, but they, they aren't hit scan like these two. Uh, these are your supports. Now, Northern Knight is technically like a support, but also like a, like a, a pusher. He, he gives you, gives you control of the situation. If people pay attention to you, that's perfect. That's what you want. You gotta use that shield the best you can. Um... So Northern Knight's kind of like a good, 
good zone denial and also like kind of like regaining your map control. That's what you want him for. Um, but yeah, uh, that that's what I'd say to you is um, those are your your go tos. Uh, I'll just say it real quick. Uh, damage dealers. Uh, really good damage, but travel time, so it kind of takes more skill to use these two. Uh, support. And then, also support, but pushing. So, yeah, th there you go. There's your, your good old talk about, about heavy, heavy mechs. Uh, I, I hope it was useful.